Okay, y'all. So, this is a what's in my hospital bag video. Um, oh my god, I hope y'all. I'm so lazy, y'all. Okay. So, I am now 36 weeks or whatever. So, she can literally come any day now. So, I have packed my hospital bag. Um, and I'm bringing like a suitcase. Normally, people bring like duffel bags and book bags. I can't do that because my stuff just won't fit in there because I'm bringing a robe and I'm bringing sweats and they just too big to fit up in there. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is actually, since this is already out because I just did my makeup for this video, first thing I'm going to start off with is my makeup, of course, because who wouldn't be up and not taking both? I'm not taking, I'm not going to be in a looking crusty dusty old. So I brought some sample sizes of foundation because <laughs> we guess I'm going to be carrying full size. My brushes. And my makeup wipes. I actually about to put those back up in here. Because I just did my makeup. And this is my carry-on suitcase. This is the small standard size one. This is how the inside of this look. This is all her baby clothes and my must like my robe that I have to put on. That I'm gonna put on after I have her. Let me actually let's tell you what else is on here. So I have on um, an extra bag. Because they say that um the hospital like this bag is completely full. They said the hospitals give you boo, 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 stop talking so fast. They say the hospital gives you extra stuff like diapers, formula, stuff like that. So I brought a um a tote, a Victoria's Secret tote, kind of big, and I put me some clean towels in there. Um, I brought that just in case I do have extra stuff to bring home. You know what I'm saying? I could just put it up and take this out, put it over now, put this on top of the carry on suitcase. So, yeah. Um, I brought me a bar of soap. The bar of soap. This is what I use. Um, I brought my Perry bottle. If you don't know what a Perry bottle is, it's a bottle that you use and it squirts up there. These are different from the ones that the hospital give you because the ones from the hospital is just kind of like you just gotta like shoot it like it's weird. It's not angled like this one. This is better because it's angled. So like you just squeeze and it's just boom. But the other one you gotta put like they say this one is better. So this is Freedom Mom. Um. So yeah. I'm just, um. um I brought two toothbrushes in case somebody that comes to see me needs a toothbrush or oh, whatever need to brush their teeth if they stay all night. I don't know because I kind of want to go through labor by myself. I don't want anybody else there. Um, so yeah, but I brought two just in case. I brought me spray deodorant because I didn't want to pack my little stick deodorant. I just figured this because. The difference between stick and spray deodorant, spray deodorant is easy to wash off. Stick deodorant is more harder. And I know um after I've been out the shower and stuff. I mean after I have her, I'm gonna wanna get in the shower. And stick deodorant is more so like 24 hours. Like it just lasts for like 24 hours. This lasts a few hours to me on me. So when you wanna take a shower, it's just easy to wash off with. I brought um it's just more sample foundation. I brought um, a Hakka breast pump. If you don't know what Hakka breast pumps, Google it. They say these are better than um, electric pumps and it catches more of the milk. I don't know if I'm going to be able to breastfeed because I have breast reduction. So. But I brought one just in case. I have me 
a hoodie to come home with to come home in i brought two pairs of jogging pants i mean i know y'all really don't care about this part just a gray pair and a black pair just in case i like bleed through them like when i put them on and my makeup sponge and i got me some throwaway um slippers i got these from dollar tree there's a dollar duh there's a dollar so i had got those from dollar tree because i don't want to take them home <laughs> i'm not going to take the ones home that I am using there. I don't want all that stuff on my flow. Packing this stuff back up. It's easier for me to do right now, you know. is this side of the bag oh, I also brought some um, cash because I don't walk around with this but just in case I want like some snacks or something or like some money I like pay for parking I don't know I just brought like I just put like six dollars worth of cash in here because <sighs> you never know what you use cash for but I usually keep my stuff on the car Okay, so we can know how to say it. <laughs> Cute little stuff. Okay, so here we have a um, you call this a fleece sleeper. Now, oh, it smells so good. Um, they say that babies aren't supposed to be in something really thick, but this is kind of thin, so I don't think it should interfere with her seatbelt I mean her what do you call it car seat straps but I don't know but it's just a little fleece and it's folded up I don't want to unfold it because it's so cute I brought her a little pair of jogging pants I know y'all gonna be like oh my god bitch you brought too much clothes but I brought her different sizes so I did newborn I did some of her outfits newborn and some of her outfits um what you call it zero to three so y'all asking why it's like double and triple stuff that's why i brought her the gata i brought her two zero to three month onesies um i brought her a new one onesie i brought her two pairs of socks <laughs> so cute i brought her two newborn hats um, and a pair of mittens. I think I want two. I put two in here. Two new warm mittens, yeah. And then, um, I brought me some diapers. I don't think you guys really need to see these, but I brought me some diapers because they say using these smell so good. They say using diapers is better than using pads. So you won't like bleed through anything. So I did that. And um I brought her another pair of mint and then two little burp cloths. I don't know why I even brought those, but you never know. You might need them. I brought her a little sleep and play on um, sleep and play. I mean, yeah, that's what it is, sleep and play. I'm about to say sleep and play onesie, but that's literally what it's called, sleep and play. And, uh, I got her another sleep and play to match her hat. And her little, um, to match her hat and her, um, her, um, mini. And then I brought a little outfit. So, I actually have a newborn outfit that I want her to take pictures in. Um, hopefully she can fit it. So this is like the little, oh my God, 
it's so tiny. Oh, it's so tiny. And this is the little leggings that it goes with. We'll let y'all see the rest of it when she on. And this is the blue onesie that we did. And I got her a blanket. For her a blanket to take pictures. To like lay her on when she first come out and take pictures. Like this. It's so cute, y'all. It's so, so cute. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to post pictures of her right away. I may wait. I know. You are you Beyonce. No. But I just know. People watching. <laughs> they want to see. And then I have my robe. My Victoria's Secret robe. For myself. This is right here. This little plush. I don't want to take that out. Because putting that back in here. Would be a hot ass mess. Okay. So. That is what I have. In my hospital bag. And then my charger. Oh, on my camera and then my camera charger so yeah that's what I that's everything I believe that's everything oh and then my hair stuff which I don't have in here and that's just gonna be my own um, my wig my wig um my edge control my brush and my got to be good spray so when i take pictures but during during that time i'm just gonna have my real hair out probably just have it in ponytail like it is right now oh yeah if y'all never seen it here it goes so that is what's in my hospital if i missed anything well, let me know i still got three weeks left. I'm not supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be carrying nothing. Okay, bye y'all.